the school helped me a lot. So I thank him. I'm so grateful. And I, I pray that God will bless him and give him long life for giving hope to children like us. Before at home, we used to eat once in a day. But when I started schooling in Rochas Foundation College Campus, we used to eat three times a day. When they gave me food in the school, I ate the food around, took the remaining one home, and gave it to my sister and my brothers. They were even waiting for me to see what I'm going to bring for them, but not come back early from school. My hope was restored by the, uh, by the foundation. I now have a father in the person of Daddy Rocha. When I was small and I lost my parents, all my dreams are buried under the ground. They were nowhere to be seen. I have nothing to do. People discourage me and say I cannot do anything. And I lost that hope. I say, okay, I'm done with life. Till the very day when I had the great news that I'm coming to Nigeria as a student of the Rochester Foundation. And since that day, there was light in my heart. I started seeing how greatness is coming in my way. And immediately I stepped into this country, entering the Rochester Foundation, my dreams begin to fall into place. I begin to see the real me, not what people told me before, who I am. But through the Rochester Foundation, I've discovered that I am a great man and Africa is in need of me. I can strongly say that becoming lawyers was courtesy of you, sir. So that's why we are here. We've come to say thank you and that God should continue to bless you for these good works that you have been doing. Amen. By the grace of God, my education is successful because of where, how far you have taken me. Years back, it's always been a dream to be a lawyer and I have come to say thank you for making it possible. And not just a lawyer, but a good lawyer. Rochas Foundation gave me a very good educational background. My name is Nasaret Abraham. I'm from Ethiopia. I'm one of the students of Rochas Foundation College of Africa. On behalf of all the students, of Rochester Foundation College of Africa from Ethiopia, Benin, Cameroon, Malawi, Burundi, Uganda, Kenya, Niger, Liberia, Nigeria, Mozambique, South Sudan, Tanzania, Congo, Guinea-Bissau, Guinea-Conakry, Sierra Leone, Lesotho, Gambia, and so on. I'm saying God bless you for lifting us up by giving us free education. I've traveled in many parts of the world and I've certainly traveled throughout Africa. I've never experienced something like this. I've seen leaders of Africa build schools and clinics and roads and hospitals provide scholarships and all of those things have helped to enhance our African culture our African tradition but this that goes beyond the ordinary to gather the children the children of Africa from all of our countries and to bring them together in one familyhood sharing each other I thank you Significance comes to a man or woman when you take on an assignment that can shape the destinies of others spending your own resources not just by making one donation but committing your whole life to the enterprise. That is how to gain significance. We've been told already that Rochas Okorocha, at the age of 37, started the Rochas Foundation, which now has 21 tuition-free schools across 12 states of Nigeria. And this includes the Rochas Foundation College of Africa, which has children from 31 African countries, orphans, or the underprivileged in some way. Schooling in one of the best schools and boarding facilities that I have ever seen. And all of this free of charge. One of the many reasons for my association with Korocha is because of what is taking place here this afternoon. 
We are both passionate about education and share a common vision of making education accessible to every child in Ghana, Nigeria, and on the African continent, irrespective of the circumstances of birth. It is for this reason that I applaud the Governor's initiative of adopting 22,000 less privileged children through the Rochas Foundation and giving them access to quality education. In doing so, the Governor, I am confident, is fulfilling the words of Holy Scripture in the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 25, verse 40, which reads, and I quote, And the king will answer and say to them, Assuredly, I say to you, inasmuch as you did it to one of them, of the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me, unquote. Let me say this. The beginning of development for any country is education. He is a man of vision, of ideas. He's a thinking man. And when he explained to me his ideas about education what he had done because he was quietly doing things that I did not even know I dove my heart for him and Richard I dove my heart for him